So if you have the car enthusiast, the person that's always there for you to uh, maybe blow up some of your pool toys. I love that we're showing pool toys um, in the middle of December. That's great. We're all dreaming of the pool right now. But this is going to be an air compressor. So really adding air to maybe the functionality of your car tires, your bike tires, and yes, your floats. This is a handheld device that also transforms into your car vac. So it becomes your dry vac for your car so that you can clean your car because detailing is expensive now. Nowadays. It also has a flashlight on it so you can see where you are maneuvering around as well as it also has a voltage reader. So again, emergency, especially this time of year, this time of year with the weather, we want to might want to check our, um, our battery level to see what that is at. So it's a four in one. We've taken $10 off for our holiday price, but we're breaking up your payments into four equal monthly installments with no interest. It's $17 and change to bring it home and free shipping and handling. But Lou Caputo does not come with the purchase. I do not. I'm sorry. I do not. But this uh, is cool because it's brand new. I like things that are multifunctional. It's really cool. No, yeah. I like it too because your car only has so much space in it. Good point. So you, you can't be carrying all these different things with you. But what's nice about this is it does four things that you definitely need. And you know what? Everybody on your Christmas list, they probably have a car. That car has four tires. You need a compressor. They probably make messes in their car, so they need some way to clean up. And this does everything. So when you look at this right here, here's the actual Magnetool 4-in-1 that you're looking at there. It has a built-in flashlight on it. On the side here is a nice big, oh, we have it <laughs> facing the other way. No, there it is. It has a nice big readout right there, so you can see there's a digital display, and I'll show you that in just a second. It actually has a real digital uh, pressure gauge inside of it. So you actually put the pressure in there so it stops itself. has a really powerful vacuum with all the attachments that you need for vacuuming with a hose. You get all of your adapter tips for using the compressor and it all comes in a bag. But let me show you how it works because this thing is kind of cool. Now it does run off of the power in your car. So it has a nice long cord on oh, here. Okay. The cord's about I 11 feet long, okay? okay? So you got a nice long cord. That's a digital, see that? That's a digital display what I was talking about a moment ago. Okay. Bright flashlight. Nice, yeah, and a very bright flashlight. Where's that camera? Out. There face. you are. Look how bright that flashlight is on there. So you can see very bright flashlight. But there's a display right there. So if I press this button right here, that actually changes. That actually turns on the voltmeter. So you can see how many volts. Right now it's around 12.2 volts uh, that we're getting um, from the battery right now. If the car is running, it should be around 14. This is the button that starts the compressor. And then up here we can change the measurement units from um, you know kilograms uh, per centimeter to uh, bar units to PSI. So you, you but, lost me. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to leave A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, so we're going to come down here. Oh, my, hey, cord, my cord. I got you. You got me? Thank you so much. Okay, no jumping so rope. I'm, I'm going to come down here. And notice all the attachments. You can either put them on the hose, as we have right here, okay. which is included, or they can go directly into the unit. So it's more a function of, like, exactly what your job is that you're trying to do. So if I turn this guy on, I want you to see... Now, if you got little kids, you know the messes that they're going to make in the backseat of the car, okay? In my case, I don't have any kids, but I got dogs. And I can tell you, my little dogs have found a way to just ingrain their hair in my seats like there is no tomorrow. And I actually used this on my car the other day because I'm not a fan of going to the car wash and having to um, actually go to the car wash and wait. Are you fucking that hose at me? <laughs> I was, Lou. I'm sorry. I was trying to distract you. You're very focused Look at the way I can on do that. vacuuming up with your hand vac. You know, you mentioned you don't have kids, but you, right. and, and you have pets. I don't have they kids or messes. pets, but I have a husband. Same thing. <laughs> he's not washing right now, so I can call him out. No, and I'll, in all honesty, he's the one that cleans our cars. Oh, does so he? he would yeah. actually really appreciate this because he's always telling me I'm leaving things because I might eat in my car. My hair is always everywhere. There might be snacks in, in the floorboard. Um, but this is a great gift because it's so practical. It's the gift that you actually are going to use over and over. And you can buy somebody. You, will, you really will. You can buy somebody or maybe take them out to dinner and bottle them a bottle of wine, but that doesn't last all but maybe an hour. This is going to to be that. something that they're constantly going to use. And it's really hard to find something that's not just the dry vac, right? Like just not the handheld vacuum. And it's pretty powerful and not very loud yet either. It's not. Well, the nice thing is it's got a nice long cord. So you're going to be able to reach all those crevices, all the back, the back of your SUV. I mean, every place that you need to go and take care of all those messes. I'm not a big fan of waiting at the car wash to use the vacuum. And if you ever go to a gas station and you try to use theirs, forget it. Now, yes, I understand you have vacuums at home. The cords are only so long. If your car is parked out in the driveway, you're using and extension cords, sure. it's way too much work. It's so much easier if all I've got to do is just reach 
and use this. Reach into the back of the car and use this. Now, here's what I'm gonna do, watch this. I'm gonna hook up the included hose that you're gonna use to inflate things, okay? Now, the way it works is on the back here, there's this little uh, spigot right there, and you just stick that on the end like that, and you push down. Now, that's secured on the end there. Let's do the basketball first, okay? And okay. we do give you all the adapters that you need to fill anything, okay? So, so everything's included, all the hoses, included. all the cords, all the anything attachments. Anything you might need. So Perfect. I'm gonna press the, the, I'm gonna press the inflator button here. There we go. And watch how quickly it's going to inflate that basketball. Now, if you've ever tried to inflate a basketball with a hand pump, you know what kind of torture that can be. Weeks. But this will do pool toys. Yeah, it'll do pool toys. It'll do your car tires. It'll do if you've got like a wheelbarrow or something. Okay, and that's good, just like that. I mean, look how quickly. Easy. Yeah, that ready, went. ready to play some hoops with me? I'll take you. <laughs> I you know got what? You, you probably could. I, I can, actually. I was going to say, because this guy can't I got jump. A good, I got a good wrist flick. Well, look at this. Okay, now a lot of kids, I'm assuming, are going to be getting bicycles. Mm, okay, so mm -hmm. if you're one of those lucky, lucky kids, you don't want to have a bicycle with a flat tire. You can see this one is very flat. Now, tires always say on the side of them what the proper inflation pressure is, okay? So knowing that, we can actually use the digital display. And can you set it then? That's on here, yeah, you can. And you use these plus and minus buttons right here. It's hard to see if they're plus and minus, but when you get it at home, you look at it, you'll be able to see. But you use those and you put the proper pressure in just using those, okay? So now I'm gonna hook this up to the tire and all you have to do is just press that on there, just like that. And you just push down like this. See what I did right there? Uh -huh. Now we're gonna hit the inflation button. Now this is preset to fill the tire. So you can hear it, it's gonna start to slow down as it starts reaching the proper pressure that I preset, and then it's just gonna stop all Perfect. by itself. Yeah, and so now I'm not sitting there babysitting it, I don't have to watch it, I don't have to sit there with a pressure gauge. A lot of times, good luck finding a pressure gauge at a gas station, see? And it just slows down as it starts to get to the proper pressure, and once it reaches it, it just stopped. I like that it auto shut off, so there's no guessing game, right? You're not, not sure, right. like, hey, did I get that? It's set it and forget it, which very, is Very, very simple. And everything just attaches really easily. See mm -hmm. the way I'm very, you know, very quickly able to go back and forth. So let's do, now let's do the mat here. Now I'm gonna use the hose on this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually oh, going to so stick- the hose attaches. The hose the just front. attaches just like cool. that. And I've got a crevice tool on the end here. Look at the way that I can vacuum all this up. And see how it gets right down into those nooks and crannies? I can smell those Italian breadcrumbs. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? I'm hungry because I haven't had breakfast yet but today. But you know so. what, these are the hard little spots that you want to try to get things up. And what do you do? Sometimes you just live with it, right? You, you live with to, it for weeks. You don't have to live with this. This is, and all the tools are included. We're taking care of a holiday price for you and breaking up your payments into four equal interest-free installments Look and that. free shipping and handling. You're the first ones to see this. This happens to be the only airing of the day. So uh, Lou made sure that I made lots of messes. Exactly, exactly. Look at that. So and we're done. I mean, that was really easy to do. So we've talked about it being obviously your mm -hmm. handheld vacuum mm -hmm. and your compressor. Your inflator. We talked about the voltmeter that's built into yep. this. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, why do I need a voltmeter? Here's the thing. If your car's running, you want to make sure the alternator is actually charging the battery. Because sometimes you've got a problem where it's not, you know, doing that. It should be around 14 volts, 14.4, 14.2, somewhere around 14 volts if it's charging. If the car's not on, you just have it in that accessory position, should be around 12 volts, but this is gonna let you know that. So if you turn it on and it's saying six volts, you need a new battery, okay? So you yeah. know that there's a problem there. And that's another nice feature that's in there. Now, the flashlight's cool too, because I can't tell you how many times I've reached for a flashlight and the batteries were dead. Right. The battery on this never goes dead because it's there is no battery. It plugs into your power port of your cigarette lighter. And you can see what it is that you're doing, especially like if you're working in the garage, you're working yes. at night. It's so at great and so simple. And that's built on board, so that's part of the four-in-one. Um, so remember, Let's go over this to the is chair. your vacuum. This is your air compressor. This is your flashlight. Um, um, and this is also what I miss. Oh, the voltage reader. So it's everything that reader, you right? need. So it's a great little handy dandy gift. If you still don't know what to get that special person in your life that you know likes to be real practical and likes to get the job done efficiently, this is the way to do it. And it's brand new for Magna Tools. So thanks, Lou. You're welcome. My pleasure. You didn't make me jump rope or do anything I didn't. silly. So Not you're today. still on my nice list. Christmas is close though. <laughs> no, um, I don't know who's on my naughty list yet, but we'll f maybe Eddie. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll come back with one more thing right after this. HSM.